Hi, I'm Cece, and welcome to Stockholm Station. This is... I finally decided to name my area, and I'm going to call it Stockholm. After Stockholm, but with, like, pumpkin stalk instead of stock. I like it. And here is a station. So I'm wanting to connect up the world with rails. It's a very big goal. It will take ages, but I wanted to set up a basic station to be my starting point, but before I can even attempt to connect the world together with rails, I'm going to need iron, and I have uh, very little iron. Uh, let's have a look. Yep, I have five blocks of iron to my name, so I'm going to do some mining, because I've actually, we've, one thing about the server is that we've actually banned iron farms, for now at least, just to sort of do an experiment to see if, how, how playable the game is without iron farms, but you wouldn't know we've banned them with uh, my farm right now. Like, just look at how many iron golems are just wandering around because of that house there. Like, there's like a bunch of villagers just in there and in there, and it just keeps spawning more and more golems. It is not going well. <laughs> I don't, I've got no idea how to stop iron golems, I don't know how iron golem spawning works, so... There's just a bunch of iron golems running around and destroying my crops, as you can see. Like... like really? Come on. Why? <laughs> it's just... Oh, and also I've got a sunflower and a rose farm. Just thought I'd have something a bit different, because I've got loads of crop farms around, like that's all it is. So I thought I'd add some different types of farms to sort of... This adds some more interest, and also these are actually functional because uh, my base is very orange and I need orange dye for it. So, got myself red and yellow dye in large amounts now. And anything else change between episodes? Oh yeah, I added up a path here. That's... I I'm trying to think what I've actually done between episodes. So I've added a I've brought the path down from here, goes down to this area over here now, connects up there. And then I've also added in a new couple cliffs here. I need to put some dripstone there, actually. So uh, I just need to add a cliff there, and then that section's done. And then I've also got a road that goes round here. And then connects up to the station up there. I like this road a lot. I don't know why it's just really appealing to me. And then that brings me up to here, and then we've got this bit here. So, things left to do with this area is obviously the redstone, because I'm going to have a piston switcher that lets you move along, and then... Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to have it so the rail system always has an outgoing and incoming rail. And I think I'll have it go around my area eventually once I've got more things to actually connect up to each other. Um, and also connect up each of those bases. So Kieran lives like that direction ish. Nicole lives that direction ish. Uh Phased lives God knows where. Spawn is that direction ish. I I just like rails, I think they're cool, they're fun, and I need to actually pick up all those rails still. <laughs> so Ugh, lots of stuff to do. Not enough time. But uh iron iron's my main goal right now. Large amounts of iron, but without an iron golem farm, I'm going to have to mine for it. But, the new update has some special uh, features that make iron collecting not as tedious, uh, which is iron ore veins. Now, I'm yet to find an iron ore vein, but what they are is gigantic veins of iron. Well, that was a <laughs> very useful explanation. <laughs> Basically, like a normal clump, like a normal blob of iron is about eight. Like you get eight iron ore in a normal blob of iron, but an iron ore vein is like a thousand ore in a vein. I, I don't know how to describe it any, any ways without just using the same words. But I'm going to have to find one of them. Everyone else on the server has one, except for me. And I have no idea how to find one. Except from just get lucky, because unfortunately there's no, like, cartographer map that takes you to one, like, with other with other structures. It's just, hope to find it. And I think the only way I can do that is by going caving, so... I'm gonna go down the cave that's near my area, 
see if I can find it and uh, hope for the best. <laughs> so I'll be back if I find one. If I don't find one, uh, plan B. <clears throat> well, a big thanks to FaZe because he managed to find one. I, I, I don't know how he finds this stuff. He's found five different iron veins, but this one's actually really close to me. Or at least really close to the village that I stole the villagers from in the last uh, the last episode. But see this like patch of like just scattered iron with tough around it? This is an iron vein. I can't tell how big it is, but it should be at least a real good start to uh, getting me towards the larger amount of iron. But uh, God knows if it's going to be enough for now. It's in a bit of a weird location, but see here, it spawns uh, iron ore blocks as well, and not just iron, like, raw iron. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit worried about the size of it. Uh, editing CC here, and there's actually loads down below. Uh, I just didn't look in the right place. Oh, also, I seem to have lost the clip where I say it, but uh, I'm going to be building up a large bridge that takes me over there so I can do back and forth trips easily. So uh, here's the time lapse for that. Guess he has two shovels and doesn't know how to do YouTube. I, I'm, I'm sick of all this wrangling with bad footage. <laughs> this video has been my primary time lapses because I keep losing stuff. So I'm just gonna call it quits for this episode and try again next time. But yep, okay. Uh, here is the blacksmith I just built. I really like the exterior. It looks nice. I'm gonna fill these up with iron and gold once I have more of them. And the interior is nothing. But yeah, as I said, uh, I lost a lot of footage this episode, uh, which is annoying, but also this has been a very tedious project and it's still far from done. So I think I'm just going to call it here and I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.